banks fund cash flows against assets. Okay, so here's how it works. You go to the bank and you say, bank, I need a million rand. The bank says, do you have a million rand in assets to guarantee the loan? If the answer is yes, the bank asks a second question. If the repayment period of the loan is 12 months or 10 months, say, and your monthly repayment is 110,000, ergo, at the end of 10 months, you would have paid 1.1 million, the bank has made 10% interest profit from it. Do you or can your business generate 110,000 rand net of operating expenses and tax in free cash flows to pay back the loan? And if the answer is no, even if you have the assets to support the loan, they're going to say no. If you write projections that say you can get the cash flows, if you don't have the assets against which they can secure the loan, they will say no. I'm going to write it on the board so you guys remember this. Is that okay? Yes. It's so important. That's why entrepreneurs get frustrated by banks. You go, the bank is not funding me. Guys, banks are not in the business of funding entrepreneurs, unfortunately. Um, that's, not the way, that's not the way South African banks work. It's just not. Um, sure, no, no, let's get this down. You and I have enough time, don't worry. So there's a line, okay? Here's what I want you to remember. The banks will fund against the assets of your business. Yeah? But they will fund for the cash flows you will generate. Guys, this is so important. And assets, they don't look at total, they look at net. So what they will say is your assets net of your liabilities. In effect, your owner's equity, the shareholder's value left in your business. How much is that? We need to spend time. Can we, okay, is it okay if we double click here? So important, because now my head is running, right? So they go, how much net assets do you have? Assets? Total minus all your liabilities. How much net assets do you have? Because against these net assets, there is a value, what we call an NAV, a net asset value. Yeah? This is what the banks looks at. And they go, he's asking for 10 million. But he only has 5 million in net assets. Which means if we gave him 10 million and it failed, and we took his business and sold his assets in what we call a fire sale, we would only get back at best five of our 10 million. And say, no, we can't do it. Make sense? Yeah. Right. So what you want to do is you want to get to a position where you can create as much assets as possible.